Hi, this is Louis Oprisa. This documentary was originally scheduled to air on Sunday night on MLB Network between reruns of Summer Catch and that movie with Matt LeBlanc and the baseball playing monkey. But due to the coronavirus, it will never be aired. Here it is in its entirety. Welcome to the history of the Alex Panzetta Memorial Donut Eating Contest, brought to you by Krispy Kreme. Throughout the years, we saw triumphs, disappointments, and remnants of glaze left on Steve Novick's desk. This started in 2015, when new pub overnight mainstay Amit Badlani had an idea. Yeah, I was just hungry. I wanted donuts, Alex Panzetta was willing to pick them up and pay for them, so I turned into a thing. But first, Amit needed to recruit people from around the office to compete. As a man that who looks like they're smuggling beach balls under their shirt, I knew I could win this contest. I mean, look at me. I could eat half the office and then still win this contest. The stress of working overnight shifts and trying to balance uh, wife and children was very stressful at times. We all needed something to kind of just let it all wash away. And what better way to do it than with some donuts? Versport might be 30 times the size of me, but I can go pound for pound against that whale weight. It was free donuts, so I thought I was up for the challenge, but I didn't really know what was in store. The contest was scheduled for a Thursday in mid-August with Amit, Verspor, Raz, Scrobonia, Ardini, and Mike Maffey competing. What was expected to be a close battle wound up being a blowout. Matt really started off strong and applied some pressure. He had three donuts down in about 40 seconds. We thought that Verspor was going to be a real good challenger in this, but it was almost like he psyched himself out. He came in with a really unorthodox technique. My idea was to take three donuts, smash them all together, and just shove everything into my fat mouth as fast as I could. Everything was fine until it all started expanding in my mouth. I've seen Justin eat an entire wedding cake. Watching Verspor struggle to eat is something I never thought I'd see. In the end, Mike Maffey became the first champion of the MLB.com donut eating contest, but his biggest challenger was yet to come. The year was 2016, and this man was seeing red. You know, I didn't really think much of it. Go in there, eat some donuts, you know, see what happens. I didn't think it would really end up being that big of a deal. With my disappointment in Justin's performance in 2015, Corey was my horse in this race. And man, could he eat. At that point, I had been traveling a lot, rubbing elbows with some of baseball's brightest stars. Top tier guys like Gregor Blanco and Monora Kawasaki. So I felt like a hotshot walking into the office. I didn't think anyone would be able to take me down. Corey and Roz were going right for the champ, Mike Maffey. Corey recorded a time of 33.5 seconds and looked like he was going to steal the crown. Roz posted a disappointing performance. But that's when Math brought his years of eating experience and clutch genes to the cubicle. You know, on the surface, it was this uh, beautiful thing. It really was. I'd always ask myself, why am I so fat? What's the point of this whole thing? And then on that day, I realized this is why I could eat three donuts in 30 seconds and be a hero to others. It was definitely worth it, and I'd do it again. But then you you looked at it more, and you just stared at it, and it became this disgusting, repulsive, nauseating thing. A lot like an MLB paycheck. Why was Math protecting his identity? It was discovered one of his competitors was trying to kill him to prevent him from repeating his champion. <laughs> Wasn't me. Me neither. Math, I love that guy. I would never. You guys, it, it wasn't me. I'd been training for years to make sure I could consume as many donuts as possible. And when I did, it felt like I kind of accomplished a miracle. Hey guys, Darwin Zook here, and I'm here to help you figure out your 47 franchise cap size. Now the 47 franchise is a fitted cap, so you're going to have to measure the size of your head in order to get your cap size. Then you're going to have to match your size to one of four corresponding sizes. Small, medium, large, or extra large. Now let me show you how it's done. 
First, find yourself a measuring tape to measure the circumference of your head. Next, you're gonna lay the tape flat against the middle part of your head, just above the brow area, and wrap it all the way around. Then we have to do a little bit of math, but don't worry, we're in the home stretch here. Just divide the number you got by pi, which is 3.14, to come up with the diameter of your head, also known as your hat size. Pretty simple, right? Now most people tend to be between a size seven or an eight. But if you like a tighter fit, just go with a smaller size. If you want the looser fit, just go ahead and size up. Once you get your fitted fitted, go ahead and let your style out. Snap a pic, post it to Instagram with hashtag 47. In 2017, Corey was not going to be denied in his search for a title, and it seemed he and Math were the only true competitors. I mean, I was surprised he was coming back, you know, with him being in witness protection and all. But it was good for me. I wanted to destroy him. And I mean that in the contest, not, you know, kill him. Or he looked good in his warm-ups. Um, what warm-ups? Oh, I would go to Dwayne Reed every day to buy pints of Ben and Jerry's, and Corey would devour an entire pint of chocolate fudge brownie in under 10 minutes. I don't like the idea of being overestimated. If anything, you should underestimate me. I can eat most of these people under the table. I mean, that is where I eat most of my meals. Wow, that explains a lot. I always wondered what happened to John Santa Maria. Guess verse four ate him. Bryce Harper, he's a bum. Corey led off proceedings with an impressive time of 37 and a half seconds, a time that he wasn't satisfied with and one that Math had a chance to beat. It's tough to watch. How can a man be that desperate to eat donuts so fast? It's ungodly to watch. Yeah, that last donut, he really struggled. Couldn't repeat. I had a thousand bucks on that guy, couldn't come through. Could use that money for my newborn child. Wife? Still hasn't forgiven me. Hey, I love you. I was frustrated in my performance, but it was still good enough to win, and I'll take it. You don't have to put an asterisk next to it or anything, so if it gets my name in the books, you gotta take it. At the end of that year, the prod father, Alex Panzetta, moved on. The contest needed new funding to continue. A meat bad Lonnie wanted to keep the flame burning. I agreed to go to Penn Station and buy the donuts on one condition, that we remember the man we lost. So, we changed the name, there it was. It's now the Alex Panzetta Memorial Donut Eating Contest, brought to you by Krispy Kreme, and a meat bad Lonnie's lost. The 2018 showdown wound up being the last in what was a hallowed tradition, but it did not get off without fireworks. Corey sought to defend his title, and without math competing, it seemed he would win in a landslide, or so he thought. If you think my honey boo-boo looking ass wasn't ready to win this thing, you have another thing coming. But then verse four, he didn't even really compete. He went home after lunch with a tummy ache, bowed out of the competition. Apparently he had Quincy Young for dessert, even I thought that was a little too much. I'll always wonder if maybe the pressure was just too much for Versby. I right, cool. It was up to the two brown guys in the office, I mean myself, to try to take down Corey, Code Red Hirsch. So the chances of Roz and me taking down Corey, about the chances of McMaster and Welber getting into a shouting match, not gonna happen. I bet my children's college education and my wife's final shred of respect on this. Guys, do, do I have a gambling problem? No. It's reassuring. No. That's when Joe Kada came onto the scene. Yeah, I was confident he was going to smoke these clowns. He took a pregame piss that broke up a no-hitter. Then he took another pregame piss to get all the voodoo out from his system or something. And then... He looked like he was on a high. I really thought he was gonna win this thing. Kato was our big hope for an upset. And he was on a record pace. But as he was eating that second donut, it happened. He choked. You mean he couldn't clutch it up? No, I literally mean he choked. I thought he was going to die. 
I was prepared to shrink down and get that donut out of him. Luckily, he coughed it up, and with that, Corey just cruised. Corey took his time in his heat, feeling no pressure to actually perform against a gaggle of lightweights. He still managed to win the competition with a time of 40 seconds. He might not have been proud of the time, but that didn't make a difference with lackluster performances all around. With that, the Alex Panzetta Memorial Donut Eating Contest was history. <laughs> Hold everything. All this talk about donuts has made me very hungry. I think I'm going to go out and I'm going to find Ted. I'm going to dribble in some steak sauce. Uh, and I'm going to munch away. And then I think I'm coming after his father. Ross. <laughs> Ha 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 